Hey again, thanks for coming to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick review on the Pure Cosmetics glitters that they just came out with. Um, Pure Cosmetics actually reached out to me and asked if I would like to receive um, a couple of them for free in return for a review. So I, of course, said yes because I wanted to try them out and I wanted to do the review. Um, they just wanted a written review. The video wasn't required, but hey, let's do a video. So uh, they just sent me a little silver package like this. I got it a few days ago, um, so I've had a few days to try each of the colors out. And they sent me three colors, um, but it came with this little card, so you can take a look. It's the Pure Quick Pro Glitters. It comes in five colors, and you can actually get a, this set of all five for $39. I believe it's coming out tomorrow, um, and you can get it at Kohl's or Ulta. I typically shop at Ulta, but yeah. These are the colors that you get. It looks like you get this dark brown, this red, this black, this goldish color, and this lighter brown. So I was sent the red, this goldish color, and this lighter brown. Um, but, ooh, there's my focus. Uh, I really like Pure Cosmetics because they are cruelty free, um, and that's pretty important. So, on to the glitters. So these are them, um, and as far as I know, these are the size, this is the size you will receive if you were to buy the five pack. But 39 for five of them is a pretty good deal and these will last you a while because you don't need much. Let me try to get closer. Oh no, not my face. Oh, I'm still learning this camera. Let me try to focus that better. How do these people do it? Like they put their hand up. There we go. So that's like a goldish color and that's in the shade Queenie, um, and I'll do a little swatch for you right here, and it's this little jar. I don't know if that gives you kind of a good view. It's like the size of my nose, <laughs> um, but it comes with a little applicator like this, and it's actually, you would think it would be like a sponge applicator, but it's not. It's just like this stick. It's this bendy stick. And honestly, I don't like that. I wish it were a sponge. Um, but otherwise, I like the product a lot. This color isn't my favorite only because you can't really see it um, on my eye. And let me see if that'll focus. It just wants to focus on my face. Maybe if I go like this. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a goldish color. Um, it looks like more pigmented on my hand than it does on my eye. I actually have it right under my brow bone here, but you can't really see it. Um, and then if you kind of wipe it, you see that it kind of goes away, but it leaves behind this sheen, if you can see that. And that's how it looks on my eye. So in person, it looks a little more prominent, but it basically leaves behind this like glittery sheen so it kind of looks like a highlighter see like you can kind of still see it but once it's on your eye it just kind of leaves a highlight so I did like it for the brow bone and um, yeah I mean it's not it's a nice highlight color so for the brow bone which is what I'm using it for it works pretty well but in terms of pigment like you're not really getting much I mean if you just look at my hand it's just a shimmery like a shimmery sheen that gets left behind. So if you're going for that look, it's great. So I do like it for the brow bone. Um, and then the next color I got is called Namaste. And in the tube, it looks like it's this brown color. But again, on your eye, it doesn't really show up like that brown like it's more of a champagne color which is still really pretty it's just not as pigmented as I would like in terms of like that wow factor now definitely you could build this up if you wanted to leave like a thick pile of it on your eye and then you would see it better because see if, if, if I just put a glob on my hand you can see it but when you go to rub it out, it sort of disappears. 
Um, that actually looks more pigmented on my hand than it does on my eye. I have it on my eyelid right now. Um, if you can see that, it's just here on the base part of my eyelid. And I put quite a bit, and it does leave behind a beautiful glitter, but it's just not a whole lot of color. Now, if you want that subtle look, you might really love it. I don't dislike it. I like the glitter. I just... I wish it had a little more color to it. I did um, end up putting black eyeliner on to define my eyes a bit more. And then I put this last color in the crease, which is this one. And this is the shade Lust. And this one is my favorite uh, because it's definitely got the pigment that I'm looking for in addition to the glitter. So again, same applicator that's really the only thing i would change about the packaging is i wish the applicator were an actual sponge and not just this like plastic spatula thing i'm still getting used to my camera so i i don't really know what i'm doing i'm just pretending but uh the red and again you can build this up if you want if you want to get extra pigment but I don't I like my makeup to feel very lightweight like I'm not wearing anything so that's the red and I guess it's more of a coppery color than a red it's like a copper red but again if you smooth this one out you can definitely see a lot more so can I focus in on my hands so you can see the color better so as you can see, let me get up close, close and personal. Um, I put the brown color on my lid and I put the red color in my crease and the gold color in my brow bone. I didn't wear anything else. Um, I no shadows, I didn't even put a base on. And I will say that the formula is amazing. I mean, it stays like once it's on here, it's on here. I mean, you can't see the gold, but and the brown isn't very pigmented but it's it stays on pretty good you know and it doesn't crease uh, I have worn them for the past couple days and they lasted all day no creasing I will say there was a little fallout by the end of the day I definitely had like glitter <laughs> around the bottom of my eye um, but that doesn't bother me too much to me that just makes it look you know more fabulous because you're just glittery and I like that <laughs> But if that's something that bothers you, that's something to be aware of. You know, you might want to get like a, a makeup wipe and wipe the bottom of your eye after a couple hours because the glitter will get there. But up top, which I was amazed about because it is a liquid shadow, it does not crease at all. I didn't see any creasing and so that was pretty amazing and I didn't use a primer or anything. Um... And I'm happy with the three colors they sent me. I feel like I was able to get a pretty decent look just using these um, by using, again, this brown color in the shade Namaste on my lid and then putting Lust, the red color, in my crease just to give it a little definition. And then this last shade Queenie up in my brow bone just to give it that highlight. And I think it came out pretty good. I mean, I definitely did add black eyeliner just to give my eyes a little more of that pop and definition. I typically prefer something more pigmented, but I think this is a decent look for just casual day look. But it's still kind of fancy because you do get that glitter. Um, now, if you were to use these as like a top coat, then they're really awesome over eyeshadow um you know especially if you go with a, like a coordinating color then you'll get that glitter pop so i'm likely going to use these as a top coat more than a shadow by itself um but on its own it's really good but i would definitely use these as a top coat i will say that to get five of these for 39 dollars is a pretty good deal they're somewhat comparable to the stila magnificent metals that she has. Um, I only have a couple of those. Um, they're much more glittery and much more pigmented, but in terms of formula, like the non-creasing, the lasting all day, these are really good. And so they're fun to play around with. I think it's definitely something worth having in your collection, even if just to add that extra pop of glitter as a top coat to your existing shadows, which is how I prefer to use them. Um, 
Although this darker red did come out pretty good on its own. I feel I did it on the eyelid the other day. Um, I do want to go out and get the other ones just because I want to try the black and the darker brown. And again, I'll show you the picture. So see, I had this lighter brown, this gold, and this red. I would love to try the black. I feel like it would look really good. And then the dark brown, I feel like might look better on the eyelid just because it'll have more, again, pigmentation. Um, but as you can see on her, I mean, they're pretty sheer. So I think they did that on purpose. And even on the other side, how it shows they're cruelty free, vegan friendly. Even on her, they look pretty sheer. Although I feel like she's using the darker brown because I still see more color. Either way, I think they're really fun. I'm so thankful that Pure Cosmetics decided to reach out to me and ask me to try them out because, um, yeah, of course, of course I want to try them out. I'm super excited to have them in my collection and hopefully you guys will want to give them a try too. Um, the only thing I would suggest Pure do, honestly, maybe somehow make them more pigmented unless that's just not what they're going for. I the sheer wash is okay if that's what you're going for. Um, but really, I would just want a sponge. I don't like the plastic spatula. It feels weird on my eye. I just want a nice sponge. But other than that, these are good. I, to, if I had to give them a grade, I would give them a B. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was somewhat helpful. I'm still very new to these videos. I'm just kind of playing around and seeing where YouTube takes me. But in the meantime, I appreciate your, you coming and uh, spending this time with me. Okay, bye.